So what I'm going to say to you here is, is this, we put the headset on, don't worry, right? All we put is in maybe twos and threes, because usually I think in twos and threes, we'll worry you'll get it straight away. Ah, it's this, it's this, and you can actually start teaching each other. Same thing, Theo doing it. Seven headsets and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven people here, which is quite useful. I'll, I'm, I'm waiting, I'm holding back to a couple more bodies in the room. Um, there's also a thing that we can do in here. The one thing that we want to do is there's a, they'll see it when you go in, there's an app called Engage. So what we're going to try and do is get some of you in Engage, we'll take you a tour, which is how I would do education. This stuff sucks, right, for me. Uh, doing this stuff online sucks. If we did it with Engage, you'll see what we mean, where you'll go in, you'll build your avatar. So it's take, it'll take a wee bit of time, build your avatar, and then say, right, we're ready. Three of you jump and engage, four of you jump and engage with you, one jump in with me, and we'll take you through it. As soon as you get in, trust me, you'll get it. You go, fuck it, we get this, this is dead easy, right? Okay, you'll get it, okay, you'll get it. The biggest problem, I think Chris was in last week, um, when you talk about this stuff, it's no point talking about what you do, okay? Right, so, first things first, if you open the box, okay, just grab a box. And I'm not going to say anything, right? See if you can work out how it works. More engaging, yeah, why? Exactly. It's more engaging because, you know, you have the environment attacking you, your senses, right? You know, if you can feel the vertigo, you know, and there's, there's sort of a lot of feedback to you, isn't it? And your body, and your brain. What else? The reality, I like this because, you know, there is an area in marketing that's very dark, which is, uh, um, what's the name, um, uh, services, okay? So services, how can you actually take something intangible and make it tangible? For example, tourist experiences, okay? Imagine being cyber trained in a place with blue waters just diving in. I mean, most of the cameras right now can go in the water. And then, you know, transported to a hotel, you know, seeing everything around you. Because, and then, you know, being able to buy then and there. I mean, right now, Steam, for the gamers, and other, uh, uh, I mean, Steam can actually buy the game from YouTube. So basically, you see, advertising, you buy it, you download it, you, you take the, the controller, and you're there. But imagine if you could actually buy experiences directly, and then, you know, once you have the experience, and if you're happy with it, free consumption experience, you can then jump and book a ticket and go to that place, and especially when we have so many restrictions now. Post 9-11, okay, we had all the security concerns, now with COVID, we have all the, you know, restrictions, maybe for the UK, you have Brexit, which is becoming more uh, complicated to travel, especially in Europe. So, what else? Come on, guys. I'm hoping that didn't stop because it's voice activated and I've noticed that most of my videos have been interrupted. Sorry, go again. Exactly. 
You have an experience so far. There's a lot of social VR in there. So that interaction can happen you know, socially. So you can have another avatar of another person. Space is not important. Because you are, that's the right hybrid. That's where I'm calling it. People see hybrid of being online and having the, 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 the laptop there. But this is the real hybrid. See you later. Uh, so and the, the, the last one that I would like to actually um, uh, mention is Netflix. All this can be measurable. And it could be in three dimensions. So for example, when you touch something in space and you grab it and you bring it forward, you know that you want something and you put it in your, in your, so there's a lot of activity. There's a lot of metrics there in the fifth dimension of space that you could actually uh, record. <coughs> so we get better experience. And let me say something else. We do DMT, right? And we have websites. What websites as a 2D representation of a company for a screen, okay? Now with this, you don't need a screen. So basically, you don't need a website. You just build a company, a virtual company. About us, we have a section and a room with videos about the company. And another section, you've got a, a next person in the reception waiting for somebody to come in on the virtual world. Events. You could be at the top of the stage. No longer you need to be at the back of the stage. Matt calls that the paradox of proximity. The bigger the band, the bigger the team, the more people going to see it, the more far away you get from the team. And sometimes you are outside the, uh, um, the stadium. Or sometimes you are at the back and you cannot even see the screen, but you can hear something. You know, so imagine if you can get a 360 and put them on top of the stage. Is that Hopefully, the yeah? yeah? So far it's running. Fingers crossed, it's going to go all the way through. So, so basically, that's what we're trying to do with this first contact. Okay, you will have the opportunity to get some of these headsets. You will get a camera and work with this. I'm going to show you a video. Okay, Matt, is that okay? Yeah. Just going to jump in on YouTube. Go to my channel. Then, uh, okay, as you see here, and you will get it. You know that guy. Look how look how low he is. Wait to see us. This shows how much money he's got. <laughs> <laughs> So anyways, as you see now, we are we are in a 360, okay? Yeah, he owns all that, see all that? That's all his. Yeah, right. I'm, I'm a shepherd. I, I don't get you. I don't get you. I've got goats and uh, and sheep. That's what that's what I do. So so basically as you see here is we've got a 360, okay? And it's on a drone. And as you can see, you can layer images to cover this. I mean, like that was the, my first journey with uh, a 360. That shows you an experience. Now, I can give you all these links when you're going to have the, the headset. We can put them on a, uh, so you can see. But the thing that you get with this one, I'm going to start, I'm going to go back at the start. And I'm focusing like that on the beginning of the, of the video. Wait until it starts. Uh, you layer things as you can see there, the start and the, uh, See, there we go. So you can get that feeling. So when it rises and you are in 360, you feel that. Okay? Yeah, you feel that. You can see these videos in all my channel, okay? I don't have many subscribers, only 70. But you know, you can be one of them if you want. So, <laughs> <laughs> so basically, you know, that was the first video. Then I'll show you another one we did with Matt. Okay? So the, the thing is, is this is the thing with those cameras. So these cameras here, that was a 360. That was a, a not. It that wasn't was a 4K, this one, wasn't it? That was the R1. The one right. that you're going to be getting was yeah. on that drone. So okay. that's four. So this is the R1's over here. And this little case here. So there's a tripod, there's a case, blah blah blah. So again, we'll show you how it works. So you get one of these if you want to do the 360. Remember, remember, you can do AR. I'll show you how to do augmented reality. How you can literally put a doorway here and you walk through it as if you're in a new world and all that shit. So this is a 360 camera. So you get one of these and you would build, you'd take your, your content, you'd make your content. Is this that one, is it? Yeah. yeah, so this is an 8K video, but you will see it better when you are, <coughs> as you can see, this is a different camera because it goes all the way up to 80K. I will let it a bit load uh, because it's a bigger file, but this is higher resolution. So basically the difference is how good resolution is when you are in there. 
So here you see a good video when it's 4K, but when you go in there, it's a little bit, um, how do you say, blurry, because now the resolution. Um, with an 8K, you go there and you see a better resolution, and it, it feels more, I mean, like the resolution is a separator between you and the experience. So I'm just showing you here, when I, this video starts. So basically, that's an intro that I put. I'm just gonna stop here, because I got that question earlier on. Basically, this is a 2D video layered on a 360 video which of course that sphere that surrounds you 360 degrees you just choose one area when your start is going to be and i made that on canva okay so it, it's not something amazing okay you just take it from canva put it on on uh, adobe premiere and i'm going to be having an hour session to give you if you want to actually show and see how you layer to give you a, a simple workflow because most of the stuff are, you know, very complicated unnecessarily. YouTubers like, you know, to make it a little bit more uh, complicated. So, okay, so here we have that intro. And I'm gonna move forward. Okay, and you can see down there, me and Matt, in the middle of nowhere, shooting content. But the difference is, look, there is no drone okay so that's the next step of of the process we talked about um how do you say tourism okay i mean this is Aaron. this is loch how do we call it loch rose how loch rose or that's glen rosa you know. glen rosa yeah that's glen rosa you're in that's kia road up the top the kia ridge the big tooth bit they call it Mini Scotland. Theo, Theo walked in, came in a big jacket. I, I've climbed in this for about 20 years. You know, there's loads of mountains and stuff and loads of stuff in there, but it was a lovely sunny day, so he was shot. Um, yeah, because actually I said, you know, we're getting a car or something or a taxi, and I was like, nope, we're walking. <laughs> we're walking, and I was like, what? <laughs> now, being in the army, I did long walks, but you know, I'm like, that life is finished, you know, <laughs> you know, it's on the back, you know, we're using 20, 30, 40 miles, you know, carrying all the unnecessary stuff and, you know, shouting or being shouted at. But anyways, it wasn't being shouted at, you know, it was, uh, it was a nice, uh, I was, but we stopped because he was saying, let's take that path over there and just go all the way up to that mountain. I was like, no. <laughs> let's go back let's sit here you know I want the square patch you will see it in the video and I was like let's you know set camp here we fly the drone and the drone went all the way there with a 360 on it um, let me show you I'm just I'm just loading up here at 12k in the headsets and the YouTube so so as you see another video 5k what? now there's another funny story there me and Matt climbing this Take yeah, you Anyways, so again, same story, okay? Students, eh? Don't want to move. Right? Are you outside the zone? Where are you? So, I'm in Las Vegas. Las Vegas, yeah. So, Medea's watching this, the Las Vegas, and she's 12k resolution, so Theo's talking resolution. VR splits it into two, so it's 12k, 6 and 6, okay? The eyes rough about 7, 8k, sees in, but you don't get there. So, the, the resolution is the different things. Now, what does, this, what does this mean for marketing? Why don't I ask you? What does it mean for digital marketing, guys? Because you're going to get lots of these. There's loads of them there. You've seen them in. So, anybody who's in the headset, just go to the YouTube and just punch in 360 video, you'll get tons up there. Punch in the Walking <coughs> Dead, we were talking about this last week, the Walking Dead 360, you'll make the actual Walking Dead series in 360. They've got a couple of promos which are really scary, you should try them. They're high resolution, they're really cool, mm -hmm. right? So you get the zombies and that, they're really good. <laughs> right? yeah. yeah. We've got the final story for this one, don't we? Yeah, so oh, this is uh, this is uh, Blown Hill, isn't it? So the thing is, is, what does it mean for marketing to a point? Why would we do this? Why would you do this? Where's it going to go? Why, why, why is the resolution in that important? It's more realistic. It's more realistic. It's more realistic. Absolutely. It's more immersive, isn't it? They use the word called presence. What they call it, if you listen to Zuckerberg, you listen to all the big CEOs and that, the big top guys and Google and all that, they all use the word presence. It's called 
presence, that the feeling of being there, caught in and of the moment, so for like some class people, because in this place so highly, let's say you're in the moment, in the zone, you know, I'm fucking, I'm just, I'm, I'm floating, man, this is easy, I mean, it's almost like the matrix, you know, even past guys that are going there, you know, you've had that as athletes, it's in, you just shoot, it's like, oh, it's in, it's in, it's in, it's in, it's in. you know, every athlete understands that, and they're all looking for that thing, it's a great experience, you know, I don't want to use the claim, you should call it, Flow, we call it time flow where you're just moving and suddenly you find this. Well, interestingly, Aaron is a good example there. Deal, this is a, a climbing example here. Um, when I was in Aaron, I remember climbing with my mate who's now sadly dead. Uh, he actually punctured his lung, he fell in a climb here with me, and he actually had to get him chopped off the mountain. Uh, he had like the hill here. But the same guy I was climbing in Aaron with him, and I was just climbing what's called Solon, so that's no ropes, just a pair of rock boots, we shorts, so those young. Back there. And I just started playing. I only started, I was only playing, I was only playing around, and suddenly flow kicks it. And so like, kicks on 300 feet up. It was just me and my mates in the open corner, and what's going for? Okay, let it And I didn't realize, oh fuck, right? How do you get yourself out of there? But the, that's what kind of happens. Because deal with this one here. You shot this, this is in no, this place is called Lowden Hill, it's just, it's just in Ayrshire. Yeah, it's just it's a, it's a simple house. It's actually. I didn't make it to the top. There's a. <laughs> I did make it to the top. Some of the side was like, oh no. <laughs> you, so, sorry, can I say, you remember the thing that I told you about, you know, it's, you know, DMP is like climbing, you know, and if you look in front of you and don't look down, don't look up. You know, halfway through as we're climbing up, I had now the drone, uh, the, you know, my back, my right side, and I'm not the same, you know, as fit as I used to be when I was younger, I was climbing. So basically, I'm more of a hippo right now. So, you know, the gravity, you know, falls a little bit short, you know? It's like the balance. And, and basically, halfway, Matt, you know, just goes because he's more experienced in, in climbing. So he goes ahead of the game, and, and I'm like halfway, and I'm like, I'm looking down, I was like, Matt, I don't think I can make it. And he was like, the only way is to the top. <laughs> was actually was shit myself. <laughs> the only way is us, you know? So. But that's because you go to the place and says, well, you can go around this way, it's the safe route. So, no, no, what there? Like, okay, <laughs> right, okay. So I go but anyways, and look back and he was like, oh, hanging on. But you see, that's an experience. I mean, like, if you are in the headset, you see it like that, okay? And you see the video. But um, um, when you are in the headset and you are on this video and you are in three, three dimensions, you see, you have a completely different experience. And I've repeated these kind of routines with, um, you know, taking my bike and just, you know, putting, you know, the, the, the camera on top and just going, um, and just to record the experience. You can actually take it anywhere you want. And the cameras are very, very assisting right now because what they do is, uh, this is incognito, just turn it, That's close what it on. Uh, so basically you can actually put, uh, um, how do you call it, uh, self-esteem, but it removes itself. Now immediately doing that, these type of cameras, you know, you can actually start a whole new range of things you can do. You could actually attach it to a motorbike and go, and you could actually do sports. You know, you can even dribble and, you know, just, you know, go there and, and do your, your stuff, you know what I mean? So, and you can take somebody through the experience. And that's the thing that is amazing about this. You can record the experience and capture the experience. I mean, obviously for your sport, it's going to be really easy to just put it close, as close as possible, you know, just to be able to actually capture the dimension, and then you do your thing, okay? And that can be captured and posted online. So this this is the, um, ah, okay, so you're showing the, the thing that they made. Yeah, 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 wrong made, yeah. So basically, she's used a tilt brush, and she did that on, um, as part of your assessment, the Chinese student, and use one of the you know the apps to actually develop it. So basically, you paint in three dimensional. It's more of a sculpture in three D rather than painting, because painting is two D, isn't it? So or drawing. Do you want any help? Just this, 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 this. We can probably turn it up on that. <laughs> I think I'm really right. So this is what Yarong made. Okay, so just put it full screen. Put it there. Put the you know the the, the sound high. Right. So this is what Yarong made.
This is a video demo of a 3D world that you made. But actually you could visit a 3D world and be in it. So what she did is that she was smart. She said the brand that I'm going to select is Quest. This. So she says, why look for a big fancy brand? I'm just going to pick Quest. So that's a brand, isn't it? Yes. Okay, it's owned by Facebook. Yes. Everyone knows that. She turned up in my office and I was chatting to her about it and I handed her the headset the same as I handed you. She'd never been before. And she'd never been before. And she opened up and she says that she was trying to be an artist and she, she, she's very artistic, obviously. She was trying to, how did I do it? She said, she couldn't get her head around it. I said, well, just use Kilt Brush. So she opened up Kilt Brush, put the headset on it in a matter of way. She started to draw and stuff like this. And then a weekend, she made that in a weekend, right? You know, um, but then she's an artist. And she knew straight away how to do it. She knew straight away. And literally, how, where does that start? And it starts off as a blank space and just space, nothing. She's got nothing. And she just got a paintbrush and stuff. And she gets 3D and it makes 3D images and stuff like that. So she built that. Now, I don't expect you to do that, okay? So straight away, I'm not asking you guys to do anything like that, okay? That's pretty mind blowing. But you see, if that was an art that you could draw, and this person could draw it, that's yeah. the way of actually you know, want to create a three-dimensional world. If she wanted, she could put a brand there and actually brand the place and call it something. You know, you could do it, she could take it further. Uh, or take that video, okay, yeah. and make it 360. But you know, that's what I'm saying is, you know, that's one. Matt, do we have another one? Well, we've got Lainey, yeah. Okay. Lainey's uh, thing, which is thing like, which is probably where some of you are going to go or take it, so. Thing like is an app that lets you upload a lot of uh, 2D or 360 uh, videos and photos. And you could actually create a, a, how do you call it, a, a tour, okay? So with the interactive points, okay? So you could actually add other things like social media, you can add uh, um, uh, logos, interactive logos, you can put points and videos that pop up, okay, on YouTube. That's your heart starting to thump. And it soon starts to match with the beat of the drum. Then you can add your pals and you think, here we go. As the noise from the crowd continues to grow, you know what's in mind, you're going to lose on. Because you know when you enter that ballroom, music connects us, it brings us together. And right now it feels it will last forever. But it won't. It's getting really close to the day. Right. And we'll be reunited under the stars and let the music play. So she's, she's just did literally two or three scenes still. Right? She's connected with Barland, which is a famous, obviously, if you know Glasgow and you know Scotland or that area, the, the, the gig scene, right? This is where she, she literally took a couple of scenes, and these are what's called Vector 3 stars. Now, in the headset, if you're in the headset with these, they actually go in three dimensions and spin around and pulse, right? It's a, it's a look even better than a headset. But she's tapping into some of the things I said this in two or three before. She's tapping into five, live music, going to music, pandemic, can't do it. And then she's just got a simple voiceover. Thing like, let you do that. So she's scripted a voiceover. She, she's working on the Barrowlands gig uh, uh, brand because it was empty because you weren't allowed in. And she, I went through these. So she just put different pieces of content in there to hype, hype and experience. That's what it is, which was quite a good idea. Again, a really simple idea, right? But what we liked about it was is, is it was tapping into the fact that we were alone because it's empty, isn't it? You hear that? You know, the music and it, and she kind of pumps up as she goes along. Um, something that we're all aware of, we've all liked music, we all like to dance or sing or get and gather, get there, get cash, blah, 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 sex, blah, 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 right? But we're all distant to each other. So she was tapping into that and she was saying, we want to get back here, this is it. And this is one of the reasons, somebody's asked me, and it's a question for you guys, where do you think this stuff's going? Because this is just still early days. This stuff, this is early days. The VR. I haven't even been into AR yet. Right? We'll, do, we'll do AR. Theo showed the HoloLens two seconds ago. It's totally different, right? Mixed reality. So you get virtual reality. Yeah. This is not true virtual reality, by the way. What do they mean by true VR? Anyway? What makes something true? This is not true VR. Two sets is not true VR. True VR needs to have six degrees of freedom. That's the ability to. Left, right, fix, roll, up, down. You can you can do anything. Fly up, Superman, that kind of stuff. Okay, 
That's true VR. So the other right, so the true VR sector we need them. The three sector, which is the easiest we have our head is decided that it's like being somebody driving you. Okay? They're, they're driving and they're taking you wherever they want to go. So you're pretty much a party here. This one's slightly different because this one's 360, so it's 360 VR, so it's the plastic driving, you're not purely plastic, but now you can actually interact and you can move. So Thing Link lets you do that. And when you see Thing Link, happy to give you a tutorial on it, but it's so easy, it's almost ah, I'm embarrassed to have you. Can I show them the church one or some of the other stuff that we did? If you want, but the thing is, is you need to choose. The first thing is, is, is any any idea what you choose as a as a brand, if you like, to try and bring a brand to life in VR. Any ideas? Just so we're talking about the first place. Uh, uh, pole dancing, pole dancing, absolutely, yeah. Now, why would you pick that? I know you went to it, but why? Um, because I like the connectivity between the native things and the nurse and the people. Right. What's the issue with pole dancing? Pole dancing. Pole dancing. Pole dancing. Pole dancing. Yeah. Yeah. You think of pole dancing? The smell. Yeah. It does still have um, those connotations of sex workers. Right. So what you do is, is it's strange enough. Now we're doing actually in stalking. Uh, stalking. And I just did a dissertation shoot there on sex work. Right. Which is a bit of a bizarre one. Those kind of things. Is breaking down the barriers about what people perceive. We're just talking about race earlier. We're talking about people from whether they're Muslim or whatever. Breaking down the back of people, the comfy old assumptions, don't you? Mm -hmm. Pole dancing. Hey, that's it, right? That's it. That's what you're seeing. You're like, no, 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 no. This is actually hard. This is funny. This is tough work. Couple of you know, athletes in the back of the room. Right? You can tell on the pole, let's see how you come from it, right? <laughs> no, that kind of so, so the angle that you could take, I'm not saying you should take, you could take and say, right, I'm going to embrace that. I'm actually going to, I'm going to, yeah, you think, this is kind of, this is, you think of that? It's a health and fitness thing. Years ago, I did one, I didn't think I did it with you here, I think I did it with you guys on CNN. I don't know if it was uh, when I was in Columbus University. It was the uh, three girls who decided to do a, a brand, I got to do a brand, and they took sex work. And the students, the students all started out, you know what I mean? I don't know if I told you that one. But this digital thing, similar to old dancing, all the students had to start outside and they come into the room, and there's a big TV screen like this, and a big screen like this. Like, you just come in and you know you've seen it, you're not allowed to sit down. All the students have to line up to get up there. When they came in, there was one table in the middle. That was my table, one chair. Table. And on the screen, they had hardcore porn running in all the screens. And there was Ollie, who was the main one. She was in a tight leather, black girl, tight leather cat suit, right? With a whip, right? There was a white girl, Ivy Castle, right? And, and with a lean Ivy Castle, it was quite, you know, had a model ponytail as well. So she was running about. In a maid's uniform, the wee knickers, and other stuff, and dusty. And there's a man, I guess, she's in a fucking full S and M suit, right? Now, these were very religious people, believe it or not. And they, want, they chose this topic because they wanted to burst people's bubble, because they were all going to come in, listen to you, with assumptions and should that that's that's terrible, that's terrible. And that's exactly what happened. And they had all scripted to the point where I came in because I am marking, I knew what they were going to do. Because guys, if you get this wrong, it's going to go fucking boom. I'm probably going to get sacked, right? <laughs> so, so I came in, I sat down, chained, and Ollie came up to me, and she had a set of funny handcuffs. And she came on, and she says, and she came out, and she cuffed my right hand, and she cuffed the other one, she had, and I went, Ollie, I need my right hand. As quick as a flash, she had a red mirror, she's got a face, she pulled from behind, and she looked like a pig went, and she said, so I was like, that's what's fucking hilarious, right? I, what I liked about that is, is a pre one is a presentation, one is a topic, a controversial topic. She knew you were all going to come in and judge them, so they already knew these women were going to be judged, right? Cutting and all the cutting and people all walking out and all that, right? And then they had scripted it perfectly. Perfectly, because I even anticipated what I would say and made it part of the thing. So, bad at the way how to do presentations is really cool. Actually, they're doing something. And, uh, and but my point was just picking controversial subjects. So, while we were saying, Hannah, I'm going to do pole dancing, sometimes, because remember, it's marketing. Remember, marketing, if it's bland, it's, you're in an attention economy. Even in VR, VR shows you even more than an attention economy. If, this, if you put this on, we've done this with little kids, if you put this on seven year olds, in two seconds, well, that's shite, Nick. Shite, Nick. 
You've got to grab the attention and see you lift it out. How quick your window for attention to come in? See that you can do that. Oh. Attention, I've got to get a three second window. Three seconds to get people, boom. Now, pole dance can do it. But what's your open an image? You know, that's a, don't tell me, you just have to think about it. If that's not the pole dancing, controversial, that will work, that's really good. Do your stuff. Can I show one thing? I mean, from sex to religion, I believe it's, you know, it, it works well. <laughs> okay? So, basically, what we are having here is, and I'm just going to. Do you recognize the building? Oh, come on. It's very hard when you're actually doing it. Okay, once more. So basically, it's, it's a church. And if you can see, it's across the street. Across the street, that big one over there. So here's the uni, okay? So what I did is I took the image. Anybody knows Prisma? Prisma is one of the apps, okay? Let me just stop the sound, it's a bit creepy, okay? So, but I was done around Christmas, right? Yeah, um, so basically we had that for a long time. And it was locked down and I was like, you know what, I'll just try to do something with this just to get the feeling. And I put up to LinkedIn and it was like live, click, like, you know, things were going like exponentially growing because of this, because people that haven't been to church, maybe, you know, it sparked some feelings. However, the difference here is, as you can see, is we took the equirectangular image, because usually if you see a 360 is like a sphere. But actually, as you know, the, the original format, the raw format is, uh, um, how do you say, square and 2D, and it's equirectangular. As we see the earth, you know, sometimes, you know, you see these maps that are, um, how do you say, vertical, and they're not, you know, represent the sphere. So that's what we mean by saying equirectangular. So what you do is you take that simple image and you put it through Prisma. This is an app that you can download on every phone which actually converts any image with AI into a painting. And that's your first intro. You add a little bit of music, and there you are. And if you actually see, me and Matt spent some time here to go into the temple. Okay, there's a voice over here which tells you this is a wonderful temple. This what? is an 8K, and if you want to enter the church, Another Ave Maria. So <laughs> you so can. This is, a, just, this is just across the road. But the point is here, right? Okay, it's literally a click of a button. To do this stuff that we're talking about for you, even that, that's making the camera. You know the camera, that camera there, the camera that you download on your phone or your iPad, it doesn't matter. Okay, it is Insta, right? It's a simple app, free, you download it on your phone, and it literally is connect to the camera through Bluetooth, and you just go click. That's how it works. Right. One button click, it's ready, and it's in the card here. Yeah. Okay? So, like, so take Hannah's example of pole dancing. What images would you be capturing? Because this thing tracks in 360. So, Hannah's example, not asking Hannah, what do you think you, should, you could capture? What would be a cool image to get? Because you can do images that you could never do in a normal camera with this. I imagine the pole would be in a central place in a room, so as you you actually have the possibility to do things lengthwise. So you know, because I, I know some routines uh, uh, include stretching the whole body. Okay, so basically we're talking like one and a half meter, because that's where we go. Well, what would you do? Never mind him. What would you do? Hannah, what would you do? Come on, think it. Think yeah, it. Actually, there's like seven poles in the studio, and then you've got an aerial shot as well. Right. Um, so, but yeah, you've got, you can either put the pole on spin or tap it, so if you have it on spin, um, you could actually take people on that, like, show them how fast you actually spin when you're up there. Right. Because, like, when you look at it, it doesn't look that fast when you're actually on it. Good point. Counterpoint. Problem with VR, motion sickness, people will sick, okay? So that, that will do you, that's fine. <laughs> but the thing is, it is interesting. That's how I feel all the time. <laughs> but but the, key, the key thing for your, your type of thing is, and the point you're trying to make is, is the, the, with 360, just the same as basketball, you can be the player. You can be, you can be you. So 
Ik heb in de Kamer ooit een proces als ik heb het niet zo zo Ik heb het niet zo gezien, maar de Kamer maakt het zelfs wat goed in de weg. Dus je wil niet zien de Kamer, je hebt de Kamer, je hebt het niet zo. Je just see you. We got equipment, we got say, uh, things that are attached to caps or whatever. We, we have all the GoPro things and you know, basically <coughs> just look into that. So what we're what we are in the... <coughs> So, so the point we're trying to get at is, is think of your shot, think of your scene selection. You can do, you can do scene, you know, the, the, the scene selection is really important because it, what basketball players, you, you're out of the court, I'm, most people are here, I've seen you on the court. I never get to see you from Ronald's point of view or from Chris, when you're actually shooting the hoop, but like you're right there and I'm seeing it, you know, it's like, wow, look at that. Or, um, or the shots from the, the actual hoop, you see the ball coming in and reset, you know, I'm doing these reset. See behind it, you see the ball come over again. So, so, so the camera allows you to do things you can never do. Okay, like I said to you before, one of the girls did, she didn't watch. She always did, she took the camera, she put it in the back, and it allowed you to do an effort. And she just dropped the ball in and then lost and she was really good. It was really, really simplified. shooting, the most important thing is you're going to have this camera, and that's what happens in reality, in, in a, for a certain period of time, in your hands. So you need to know what you're going to do. You know its limitations, okay? You know the limitations. The one, one limitation is it's a sphere, it's 360, so you can't, if there's any other people in there, you have to be in the, in the shoot, or not at all. So you can't be assisted unless, you know, this person has a role and doesn't start something. I'm and the sure. second thing is you need a stick. So for example, if you're going to be using something, you need equipment. So we need to know that, and Matt needs to know that, so we could actually give it to you. So the most thing, the simple thing is you need to store your book. That's what I was trying to get. So as to know what you need. What's the question to you?